somebody asked me uh, to explain what am I doing while I'm up here. Well, pretty much you don't have to do too much of anything once you're off the ground or when you're landing, you're just pretty much sitting here. And if you want to turn to the right, you just pull on the right brake. Uh, if you want to turn to the left, you pull on the left brake. And, uh, and that's pretty much it. Just uh, looking around and cruising and keeping track of your fuel, uh, keeping track of the time of how long you've been flying so you know what your fuel uh, should be. You want to keep track of the time so you know uh, when sunset is so you you know, if you're running strobes, you're okay. You got a half an hour, but otherwise, you're just up here uh, looking around and cruising and obeying all the uh, flight regulations, not flying over mass uh, a group of bunch of people, uh, football fields, baseball fields with a lot of people there, large housing areas. Trying to be courteous, try not to fly over somebody's house all day long, making a bunch of noise. Try to stay away from these hunters while they're hunting, scare their deer away. Uh, but the main thing is you want to be safe. You don't want to go out when it's uh, too windy. You always want to look around and make sure you've got a place to land if something happens. And uh, fortunately, where I fly, for the most part, there's a lot of areas that, uh, you know, something happens, you can land. You don't want to land in the trees, and, and uh, I don't want to land in the cornfields. I uh, don't like soybeans either, but once they've cut them all down, uh, they're fair game. All of them are good. Hay fields are good. Uh, the roads, as long as you just make, just watch out for uh, power lines, telephone poles. Practice common sense. And uh, enjoy yourself. Look around. I know when you first start off, you're, uh, you're a little uh, afraid or scared. Things are, you know, little different. It's like jumping on a, a motorcycle or a car for the first time. It takes you a while before you you uh, figure all that out, jet skis and all those other things. You're a little nervous and then you figure it out. And then after a while, it's just like uh, opening the door, jump in the car, turn the keys on and go. And uh, you just, uh, it, it, uh, you'll learn. And the bumps, it's starting to bump right now because of the wind coming over these hills and these trees. Uh, you'll get used to them. You'll know what uh, they feel like, and uh, they're not enjoyable to fly in. Uh, but uh, in the evening time when you're flying, uh, you know that it's usually going to calm down. So when you first take off, you know they're going to calm down. In the morning when you take off, it's usually calm, and you know you're going to. It's going to start getting a little bumpy later on. So, uh, and, and that's when you know it's time to land. So, uh, that's kind of what you do up here uh, with a trike. Foot launchers are, are a little different. Starting to see a lot of uh, people uh, at least giving a trike a try. It's 7 o'clock. This uh, Guardian strobe, I have not figured out exactly where I want to put it yet. Uh, I've got some ideas. But uh, it's about the end of the season for, uh, for me. Uh, 
it's just starting to get really cold and it's going to snow. And then what happens is the ground will get soggy. And the owner of this airfield, he'll, he won't uh, want you coming out here flying and making tracks in his, in his airfield. I've got a couple other places could go. But uh, once it gets uh, cold, I'm, uh, I'm pretty much done with it. There goes the sun. It has smoothed out quite a bit. One thing about soybeans, you know when you land in the soybeans, they've got these sticks that uh, just are really crazy mess on your line. So you want to try to avoid soybeans as much as you can. Because they can really disrupt your guidelines, especially if you want to try to take off in it. The flag's just laying there, so that's pretty nice. Trims into about three. They're just floating. Doing about 30 watt on our final approach. We're about 114 feet in the air. Yeah, we'll line up with the runway.
Okay. Didn't slam it to the ground, nose first. So we didn't blow any baffles out. So we're good. We're down. There's your guardian angel on the left and your hunter on the right. And when I take my shades off, it's a lot lighter out here than I thought it was. So uh, we're good.